Vicky. 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 No pulse. She's gone. Vicky's dead. <laughs> I think you should go get her. Vicky! Victoria Lord is dead. All the best people are. You're dead. That's not going to stop us from having this conversation. And Dorian, you blew it. So tonight you're going to have to answer to me. Do you know of any other dead alcoholic reporters you were married to? <laughs> because if you do, I want you to tell me. <laughs> no, Hayes. It is you. Mm. Ooh. 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 It's been a while since I've had my feet on the ground. Depends. You've been a very bad girl. This isn't my fault. I wasn't even. I'm not driving. talking about that, Dorian. You drugged Vicky's boyfriend and poured a fifth of vodka down his throat. You know what a terrible time I had staying off the booze. And you do to this kid what? When he's doing everything he possibly can to stay away from the booze, you pour it down his throat. It's obscene, girl. It was necessary. I had a really huge deal riding on his silence. Well, then why don't you just shoot him? After all, you're Dorian Lord. You deserve whatever you get. I'm sure the jury would be most understanding. After all, it's you. I hate it when you're sarcastic. And I hate it when you demean yourself by hurting other people. You preyed on that man's weakness. I'm a businesswoman. I use whatever means are necessary. Why? Why was it so important for you to take over Buchanan Enterprises? It's a multi-billion dollar conglomerate. Oh, try again. I don't know what you mean. You didn't care about Buchanan Enterprises or Kramer Enterprises or whatever you call it. That was a little coup you pulled to hurt Clint, to hurt Clint for hurting you. And he was supposed to walk away unscathed? What were you doing with Clint Buchanan anyway? What was I supposed to do? Throw myself on a funeral pyre just because you were gone? No. You're supposed to find yourself on warm, compassionate guy with a decent sense of humor and try and let him make you happy. You're a very difficult man to replace. It's not about me, is it? Because you're doing it again, Dorian. What are you talking about? You're living in reaction to Vicky. Why don't you try and lead your own life? Oh, Mel. Oh, I would love to see Mel. He must have stepped out. I'm sorry. I guess he's not in right now. My relationship with Clint had nothing to do with Vicky. They'd been apart for years. 
And Charlie? You don't know anything about Charlie. I know everything. Then you know... I didn't have a relationship with Charlie. You told Vicky you slept with him. A little white lie. Why? She deserved it. Aha! Uh -huh. So it wasn't enough that you stole her children's legacy, killed her son-in-law... I had nothing to do with the man she loves? To leave them in desperation? To add a little insult to injury, huh? All right. It was a little self-indulgent. It was cruel! <sighs> You're such a terrific woman in so many ways. Time out here. Did you come back in order to lecture me? Because if you did, you wasted a day pass. Why are you so insecure? Me? Insecure? Yes, you. You like Charlie Banks. Oh. Come on, admit it. He had a... You know, a little rough charm. He was kind to you after Alex Olenoff ran you down. You invited him back to Landview, and you wanted to put him up in that pile of bricks you called, what, La Bumbaye. Oh, La Boule. <laughs> before I found out that Vicky wanted to realize her lifelong dream of being a waitress. Well, and then when you found out he was interested in Vicky, you got scared. You couldn't pursue him because what if you lost? So instead of taking a risk, you tried to destroy the man. Not your finest hour, my love. I'm so sorry Mel wasn't in. He must be off chasing some big story. And I expect he'll get it. He always does. So you want me to cop to these feelings I have for Charlie Banks, Vicky's ex, and I'm not saying that I have those feelings, and you want me to stop living in Vicky's shadow. Now, do you want me to do these two things at the same time? I want you to face your feelings and live your life. But first things first, you have to make amends. Oh, please! Oh, you've done a lot of damage, Dorian. You have no future unless you atone. Atone? You're forgetting who I am. I'm Dorian Lord. I don't atone. Now listen to me, Chickadee. This is your last chance, because I see where you're heading. All right. I'll atone. Good. Oh, God. It's not gonna do any good. Don't you understand? They're all gonna blame me because Vicky's dead. Well, then you'll just have to bring her back, won't you? <laughs> 